So I hope you kind of enjoyed today's uh, little videos. That's real life raw. I apologize for the for the language. Um, but if you kept up with everything, I was awoken up today on April twenty first, two thousand twenty one, in or about uh, about twelve twelve quarter after about twelve thirty, we'll say, with the Edmonton police. Now, as you've seen from the very first video I produced today, or I fucking shot out today, they were at my window and stating first about threats. They said I made threats or I made uh, racist comments to these couple. When I verified that and dealt with that, then they said it was about, they were here about the, a complaint about my dog, about it being uncontrollable and whatnot. Now, as you've seen through the video with that, when I confronted her about that, their story changed to, I was abusing my dog. Where have I heard that before? Look on my very first videos about the August 18th, 2018 incident that you keep, that I keep referring to. Uh, the quick rundown, a bunch of methed out racist white people made allegations stating that I was bear uh, cattle prodding and bear spraying my dog and picked it up by its neck and threw it more than 50 feet into a brick wall. I did substantial videos proving that disclaimer wrong and everything, but yet the Edmonton police held on to that. They even changed it. The, the me picking the dog up and throwing it 50 feet wasn't until after they ditched the whole entire, uh, because the original warrant and arrest warrant and warrant to search my house was for cattle prod and bear spray. When they did not find that, they changed the story to me chucking the dog 50 feet. When they didn't, couldn't fucking back that up, they then withheld evidence and kept my dog until Halloween. All verified, all documented, all being used. So now, let's come back to now, April 21st. Now you've seen at the fucking window. Sorry for my language. I apologize. You've seen them change their stories right in mid mid situation here, which is wrong. They're, they're the police. They should not lie in order to try to get you convicted or to, to try to make their case or whatnot. You've seen their how they fucking change their stories. First, I was there because these people said I was kicking their dog through a. a fence that was uh that was determined wrong then they changed the story i called them names when i said i called my dog retard don't act like a retard if they took that upon them i apologize then they changed their story again that my dog was unco un uncontrollable and not controlled when that was uh dealt with then they turned around to abuse and this is all seen through the videos. So they changed their story three different times to try to get something on me. They went through a fishing expedite, but I held my ground. And you also noticed how many times they kept asking me to come outside, come outside, come outside. And you seen that I refused to go past the screen door. That is your right. If they do not have a right an arrest warrant or a reason to arrest you or an arrest warrant or a search warrant. They cannot enter your premise. They were not even allowed to be out my front yard because I asked them to leave and they should be charged with trespassing. That's fact. Just because they're police doesn't mean they're above the law. As you've seen here, they kept asking me to come outside. Why did they come outside? Because then they're in control. I was in control on here because I was able to deflect their meaningless lies and their biased, racist, racial profiling. When you're out there, then they can lay hands on you. They can intimidate you. They can arrest you. They can detain you. They'll use that in order to coerce you into giving something up so they can arrest you and make their case against you, even though they got nothing. Yes, you should shut up. If you're under arrest, don't say a word. But if if everything that you've seen today, you have to stand up. You have to be the asshole. You have to dig your feet in. 
You have to be that dick or they'll win. They'll trample your rights. They'll piss on you and they'll, just like they tried to do today. I held my ground and that's what you have to do. Even though it's scary, even though they're threatening, even though they got all these other cops to intimidate you, hold your ground. Record the cops 24-7 and hold your ground. Read up on your rights. You have rights. And I apologize for the, any of the videos with my swearing and whatnot. I apologize I'm not a very well-spoken person. I apologize I didn't edit this to make it look pretty or make myself look pretty. I don't believe in that. I believe you tape it, you show it, you get to see the raw. No bullshit. Um, you see that subscribe and like button? I don't care what the fuck you do with them personally. Um, I was going to bring up other subjects to talk about in order, like, because, like, child abuse and the effects of child abuse and using my own past as whatever. I'm still working that out kind of thing. I'm kind of debating on it. I'm not too sure. Um, and I like to talk about some other things. Homelessness, how to deal with that, how to get over with it, you know, that kind of thing. Real life stuff. Not uh, sticking an egg up your vagina or asshole or, you know, um, that kind of shit. Uh, if this interests you, hit me up and uh, take it easy.